and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. This is going to be episode two. And if you remember the last episode, Rebecca is stuck in her bitchin' kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Eh, what do we do here then? Well, we go over here. We'll find another train key, which... I don't remember... I think this is the conductor's key. Yes, it is. Conductor's room key, but we can't get to it with Rebecca. So what we gotta do is use this dumb waiter here. Or the service lift, as the game calls it. I always wonder why is it called a dumb waiter? Like, sounds insulting. I mean, <laughs> stupid waiter? I don't know. That, that That's not funny, so I'm not even going <laughs> to continue on with that joke. But seriously, why is it called a dumb waiter? Who knows? And most importantly, who cares? Alright, so we send it to down to the first floor, which we could get to now. Also, Rebecca is stuck in this room right here. Let's lock from the other side. Oh, oh I didn't mean to switch characters. Alright, uh, as you see, Billy has a knife. Can't we just jimmy it out? I mean, also the log is only on one side, but I don't know. Also, this knife, not very good. I mean, majority of the times in every Resident Evil game, the knives are, are very much a last resort thing. But some of the entries do have good knives, though, like 4 and Code Veronica. Even 3, to a degree, or even uh, Resident Evil 1, not the first one, the PlayStation, Resident Evil Remake. Chris's knife is beast. So, yeah, but uh, majority of the times, they, they suck. And Zeros sucks. It's it's not good. But I think the worst knife out of all the Resident Evil games is Resident Evil 2's knife. Jesus Christ, man. There's only really one spot where I use it, and you really don't even have to do it like that. I just use it just to, just to amuse myself, just to <laughs> think, like, wow, this how totally useless that knife is. It's pretty damn useless. <laughs> Alright, land with various types of food. Nothing of use. A freight car. It's locked on the other side. And there's an access panel here. But of course, we need some tool to open it. Alright, so if we go over here in this little narrow area, we'll find the waiter. There we go, now we can take the freaking key. Also, I think Rebecca could send down, um, what is it, um, some ammo. Well, may as well, because we're not gonna, we're not even gonna freaking use it right now. Also, we're in hard mode, so some bosses might take a little bit more to kill. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and send down some more ammo for him. I think you can only carry 150 or 130, uh, 9 millimeters in one you know, one uh, slot of your inventory. So you could carry, carry quite a lot, but there is a limit. And that's all I know. Like, I don't know how much, what's the max uh, capacity on shotgun shells, because usually I never <laughs> get so much that, you know, I just max it all out because I'm usually always uh, using it every now and then. There's quite a bit of bosses in this game, so <laughs> you're gonna use a lot of ammo. I mean, you can always have your partner help you fire, but I, I, I really want to save ammo since we're playing hard mode. Oh yeah, and Billy's personal item is a lighter, but it's completely useless right now because there's no fuel. <laughs> he even says that too, it's useless right now. Yeah, it has no use. Alright, uh, don't... Can't leave it here. Why not? Why can't I leave it there? All right, we'll leave it over here. Uh, just leave it anywhere you want on the train. Uh, we will be able to collect it later, so yeah. Leave it there, and we're going to go back out and go all the way to the conductor's office. And as you see, it's all the way up there in the front. So we got two cars to go through. 
I'm also going to explain in a minute, um, uh, what is it, the, the combining of herbs. Yes, I will need to, I am going to explain that. Whoa, Boa, no, no. I don't know why I was freaking out there, like, there's plenty of space for me to go through. Oh, and there isn't here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, oh, no. Oh my god, this is not good. What's my health at? Oh, I'm still fine. Yeah, uh, Billy is really strong. <laughs> he is insanely strong, like it's pretty funny. I just remembered something just now and... Whatever, I already screwed myself, so there's no point in having to restart the game. Yes, because I want to show the extra mode you unlock after completing the game, which is uh, Leech Hunter mode. And I forgot, totally, totally freaking forgot that when you beat the game on any difficulty you play it at, it carries over into the extra modes as well. So Leech Hunter is going to be set on hard mode. Damn it. I, I mean, I have been on hard mode, but it, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. They look like some kind of eggs. Puddle slime is formed around them. Ugh. Yeah, those are leeches. Pretty gross. But yeah, uh, may as well just keep on going. I already started it, so. Yeah, whatever. That zombie's over there. He can't even get to me. This sucks! <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill some of these. Alright, he's dead. How much ammo do I have? Alright, five. Alright. Uh, there's still one guy alive, but I'm not even going to bother killing him. Also, you can reload it in the menu, too. Just combine it with the ammo. How much damage these zombies take depends on what gun you're using, and also the distance, believe it or not. So, while it's risky to shoot them right, right when they're right there in front of your face, but you'll do more damage that way. Obviously with the obviously with the shotgun you do a lot more, but you know what I mean So you don't want to be too far away, and then you want to at least be mid-range To get you know the maximum amount of damage or Close depending on what you're using. It's kind of tricky Where did I put the Ink ribbon Can't even see it what the hell? Alright, so we're gonna save here real quick because, yeah, there's a part coming up that's... Mm, I don't know. Don't really trust myself, so... Save the game. Also, the, the text changes color depending on what uh, mode you're playing on. So it's red right now because I'm playing on hard mode. Alright. So let's go to the conductor's office. There you go. Throw it away. Alright, so in here we're going to see, um, I believe, uh, two herbs. One different color. One of each different color. There's a green one, and there's a red one. Alright. So you see it's red. That means, first off, the red herbs have no use on their own. What you have to do is combine them with the green herb. And then that way, you'll make a 100% full heal item. So, you'll... You know, you know, no matter where you're at, you're on danger. Uh, you use a green and a red mix. It will, it will 
kill you completely, fully. However, for some flippin' reason, Billy cannot mix herbs. Only Rebecca, because I guess the notion is that she's a medic. The only problem with this is that in any other Resident Evil game, any character can mix herbs. What, what were they thinking? What were they think they were going with here? This makes sense. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. That's just the way it goes, and it's not that big of a problem, but it's, it's just weird and inconsistent. So here we, we got the train map. As you see, there's another, there's, there's the roof. There's another part of the roof we can get on. There's a second floor, not much. And there's the first. We pretty much explored uh, almost the whole entire area. All right, there's a note here, note from conductor. The key card for the driver's compartment is my bag as always. Hold on. All right, I was getting a call from my phone, but I don't even recognize the number, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, the key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag, as always, but I need the other guy's key to open the damn thing. But it looks like I've lost it somewhere. If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in. But this key's different. I'll look for it, too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. All right, so he's basically saying that he can't open his stupid bag because, well, the, the, the key is missing and he doesn't think anybody will pick it up because it's not a normal key. Uh, we don't want to take this briefcase yet. That's the bag he was referring to, but we don't want to pick it up. There's no reason to yet because we haven't found any of the keys. We'll find them in a bit. All right, so there's a button here. Press it, and I'll lower a ladder. <sighs> All right, now we're in this like dining area again. Another dining area, or more like a bar or something. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's something not very nice on top of this train car. Uh, on the GameCube version, I remember that sound being stupidly loud. Like when you heard that hiss, right? Like on the GameCube version, it was really loud. I don't know what the hell. I guess they really wanted to scare you, but it was stupidly loud. That's a great shot right there. That. But yeah, it was really loud. <laughs> I'm glad they kind of changed the mixing on that. All right, so there's this little cart right here and there's a nice pick. That's what we're going to use to get Rebecca out of that kitchen. Also, there's a red herb right there. No use for us. Let's for Rebecca. Right, and right here is a first aid spray. Uh, it fully heals you. It's just the same as a green and a red herb combined. We're not going to pick it up though because I don't think we're going to really need it. Oh, so right here is this closet. Uh, this is a closet I was talking about in the first episode that unlocks the... Uh, what is it? Uh, that has the alternate outfits. Did I talk about that? I might have said that in my test um, recording, but not in my actual recording. But yeah, in here, in the original uh, GameCube release, uh, you would go here, you would have, once you completed the game, you would have the wardrobe key in your inventory, and you'd go here and lock it, and you, you'd be able to access the costumes. 
So we're only like two for Rebecca and one for Billy, so not much. Whereas in the remaster, there's a lot more. <laughs> but yeah, you can't even interact with it on this version at all. Just, no. Completely disabled it. And look at this. It's a hunting gun or a double barrel shotgun. Essentially what it is. Right here, we'll find some shotgun ammunition. Some shotgun chills. Alright, so we're not doing too bad at all. See, this is easy. I mean, we just need to go back to Rebecca. Right? Yeah, it's never that easy. <laughs> not in Resident Evil. It's the reason why the game wrote out all these health items and a shotgun at us. Yes, it's a giant scorpion. Um, he's not really a hard boss at all, but you just gotta shoot him in the head. Oh, and I completely missed there for some reason. Oh, what the hell? Alright, well, with the shotgun, you kinda wanna reload in the menu because you don't wanna get caught in the reload while you're fighting this thing. There you go, I think I got his head. There you go. Yeah, his, his carapace or whatever, or his skin, is rather well armored, so... You can't really shoot him in the body. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him a couple of times with the shotgun, and then... We'll just start shooting him with the pistol at this point. Watch out! Yeah, as you saw, my bullet just bounced off his tail there. Yeah, he's pretty simple once you know what to do. Oh, fuck, no! Ah. Kind of hurt, kind of hurt. It's okay, we just go back if we need to get help. Back up a little. There you go, keep shooting him in the head. <laughs> Not too tough, it's rather simple. There you go. Come on, die already. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright, reload. Yeah, handgun doesn't really do too much, but hey, every little bit helps. There you go, he's uh, taking the sting out. It's the trophy I got. Yeah, and you gotta be careful because that last hit does hurt you if he's too close, and that's what happened, but I should be okay as long as I'm careful. Alright, move, pal. Ugh. Yeah, if you remember that file in the first episode, that's what the file was referring to the Y139 or whatever. It was referring to this big butthole here. <laughs> right. Oh, we can't even pick this up. Oh, we're full in space, man. Alright, well, we could go ahead and drop the shotgun here. And pick up this panel opener. So now we go over that panel that was back in the kitchen. Alright. So, of course, there's going to be resistance back on the way. Ugh. Some zombies might uh, get up from their seats now. More zombies. So that means there's going to be more zombies in the hall. Which sucks. 
because I'm not very doing very good health wise. Both Billy and Rebecca. Should be able to make it though. No, no, I want to shoot you. I don't trust trying to go by you. There you go. He's dead. Nobody got up. All right. <laughs> Maybe in this area they will be. I'm sure. Jesus Christ. For God, just ran by these guys. Just die, come on, dude. There you go. Alright, they're all dead. And we didn't use too much ammo. We're good. Alright. here and open the panel but hmm. I don't know if I should go into the next area by myself or not sure I think I'll be fine yeah I'll do I'll go <laughs> I say I'll be fine but then I die <laughs> right Come on. No, 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 no. Shit. There you go. Damn. Yeah. I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh, Christ, dude. Oh, there's some shotgun ammo here. I could have sworn there was a health item here also, but... I might be thinking normal mode. And there's also some um, gasoline here, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. And there's another item here, which is this gold ring. Uh, we don't need that yet. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the dumbwaiter and send up that ice pick so that Rebecca get a, get out of that little... That spot. Uh, oh, I forgot about you. I'm gonna kill you because you're gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh my god, this guy is closing in quick. <laughs> He's still not dead. There you go. Oh, he's still not dead. Dude. There you go. Oh my god. Come on, guy. Jesus, you can waste all my ammo. Alright. Send that ice pick up to Rebecca. To Becky. So she can get the hell out of there. So we need to get we need to get healed, because I mean, good God, we're we're not doing very good. <laughs> All right, so we can go ahead and take the herb now, because we're not gonna need to come back here. Take our ice pick. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, in the next area, some zombies are gonna get up from their seats, so we're just gonna have to book it. No, not character switch. Inventory, there you go. Alright. And we go ahead and throw that ice pick away because we don't need it. Alright. Yeah, let's get out of here. Dude's on fire. Yeah, it would not have been a smart choice to take if we got Rebecca out first and then brought her over here to this area where the dogs were because Follow yeah. Me. yeah. Didn't didn't seem like a 
the results would be <laughs> good. I mean, to put Billy in danger, and Rebecca is actually weaker than Billy, so yeah, not good. All right, so we picked up some empty bottles, so three of them. Might be able to use this as a, as a weapon if you fill it with something. So yeah, I think you can pretty much guess what you could use it as. <laughs> it's a Molotov cocktail. I mean, come on. It's like one of the. It's like the only weapon in the series. I think. No, I I know you could in Outbreak you can make a, a cocktail, but it's really like one of the only times in the main series. Uh, where you can make one. So yeah, you could go ahead and do that right now. No, do not exchange with Billy. There you go. Rather primitive weapon dealing massive damage to certain types of enemies. Um, yes, uh, take that as you will. Uh, certain types of enemies. Remember that weird uh, leech guy? Yeah. What do leeches don't like? Yeah. <laughs> they don't like heat, so... This is the best weapon to use against those kind of creatures. However, it does have a drawback. And that is, it's, it does take quite a few. I think it does take actually three of these to kill one. Also, the character lunges when they use it too. So it, it does put you in harm's way sometimes, unfortunately. So other than that, it's it could, yeah, not very useful. Kind of have to use it right. Okay. So, I guess we could go ahead and pick up this gold ring right now, then. We go back here, and we should be at the back of the last train car. Yes, we are. Alright. So, right here, um, who are we going to have take... Because we need something here, but we need enough space. We need two slots to take it. Hmm. Guess we can have Rebecca take it, we just need to fill up her gun with ammo. There you go, and we'll give it back to Billy. Alright. So what you want to do here is uh, have them split into two. Have Rebecca go over here. Yes, um, we need this, the hook shot. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of the bane of this game, if you ask me, because it's like, oh my god, you do need to use this a couple of other times in the game, not just on the train. You gotta use it in other areas too. Ugh. Alright, so, you gotta pull the release lever with whoever you want to take it, it doesn't matter who. So I'm gonna use, uh, Re Rebecca. You gotta pull the release lever and then, yeah, grab it out of there, otherwise you can't get it. You need two people to, to just to get a hook shot. This device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car rooms or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use where to use. There's a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door of the third carriage, which is where we're going to use it. Fire the device so that it hooks high onto the ladder. Using the winch to climb after securing the hook, use, uh, yeah, okay, use the winch to lift yourself up. This grappling hook can only uh, one person at a time be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 <laughs> kilograms. All right. It, it says that, but you could, you could really use any character with it. Come on. Doesn't matter who, you know. None of these characters weigh more than 80 kilograms, so. We're all good. Alright. Alright, so I think we're going to have Rebecca fight over here. Because Billy is a 
on the verge of death, unfortunately. Stupid scorpion. Yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some zombies that get up over here, unfortunately. Come on, Billy, run. No, Billy, Billy, no. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need to put it so that he doesn't do that. Alright, so here's where I need to use that hook shot. What are you talking about? No need to use it right now. It's right there. Come on. jump into this hole and there's gonna be a zombie down there so we want to take him out really quick come on no sir <laughs> not gonna grab me I'm not dying here come on there you go he's dead all right let's check on Billy though I don't know if there's any zombies over here in this area. No, there isn't. Or none at the moment. Alright. And there's also a knife here that I think is for Rebecca, but come on, we don't we don't want that. Oh yeah, we can drop the hook shot. Because we're not gonna leave it for a long, long time. Alright. So we'll go over here. We're gonna grab this. It's a little jewelry box. I'm gonna examine it. No, I keep making that mistake of switching characters, damn it. Yes, it's a jewelry box, open it, come on. And here's a silver ring. Hey, settle down, my dogs are acting up, alright. <laughs> so we got a gold ring and a silver ring. That's all we need to get off this train. And you'll see in a minute. Yeah, now leeches are over the train too. But they're really not that dangerous. I've never died from leeches, as far as I remember. And if I have, I probably did it intentionally just to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. They're not worth killing. You could just step on them. they die. Alright, so... Yeah, let's have Billy idle. Do not use equip weapon, yeah. Uh, let's have you just use that one herb, just in, just so you know you, you get grabbed, Billy. This way. Roger. Oh come on, Rebecca. Yeah, one guy did get up. Yeah, well, we're not gonna fight him. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna go back here into the conductor's office and we're finding Lily. Finally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But we're gonna finally open that bag. Also, we could combine those herbs now. There you go. Right, so let's take those rings from Rebecca and we're just gonna combine them with this there you go there's the keys that the conductor was talking about it's just those rings I don't know why you would lock your briefcase like that yeah open it up it's a car key Jimmy Lewis <laughs> alright so 
yeah it's used to unlock the electronic door to the lead car all right so now we could get to the front of the car and we could finally see what's going on all right well let's combine these herbs too combine these herbs so you could see what I'm talking about when you combine herbs just in case you've never played a Resident Evil game before there you go compound created by combining a green herb with a red herb and it fully heals you so yeah it's very useful alright so we're probably gonna want to save too and that's gonna be the end of this episode because there's a part that's coming up that we're <laughs> there's a part coming up that could easily you know it could get it could get you like it's a beginner's trap especially if you don't know what's about to come up so we're gonna save Where? There it is. Alright, and that is going to be the end of episode 2. Or part 2, whatever you, you want to call it. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, it says the New York Times over there. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.